Now, y'all know I'm all about keeping it cute and staying within my means. So I thought it would be a good idea to come on here and talk about some of the best quality handbags for the price. And when I say best for the price, what I really mean are handbags that are of luxury quality at contemporary price points. The last two on the list might surprise you. So if you want to see what they are, just keep watching. Hey, my name is Dre and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Over here, we talk about luxury and contemporary handbags and accessories, lifestyle, and just staying fly on a budget. So if those are things that you're into, go ahead and subscribe. But let's get into the Florentine statue by none other than Dooney and Burke. Now guys, I know that you have heard me talk about the Florentine satchel on numerous occasions. This right here is the micro size in the color plum. Um, I've had this bag for a few years actually and have never pulled her out and worn her. But I refuse to sell her because I know that when I do move into her, I probably will have a hard time moving out. I just haven't had the opportunity to wear her. But guys, this bag is on the list for a numerous reasons and let me pull out my notes here so that I don't forget anything um, because there were some specific points that I wanted to go over when it comes to the Florentine satchel of course the first most obvious is just the silhouette this is the cutest silhouette um I love this silhouette and for me this is the classic Dunienberg with the belted detail and the tassels on the side with a braided zipper pull. This is classic Duny to me. So the silhouette is adorable. That's first and foremost. But then the leather, the leather is A1. Like Florentine leather is some of the best leather that you can get point blank period. I don't even really care what price point we're talking about. This leather is just just nothing but a lot of deliciousness. That's the only way I can describe it. Florentine leather is just top notch. And as old as this bag is, it still smells like Florentine leather. I love the Florentine leather. The other thing um, that makes this bag a great buy for the money besides the construction because it is very well constructed as you guys can see is the fact that it is uh classic like this really is the classic Dooney and Burke and it comes in a variety of sizes so this particular size is the micro they make a size smaller than this called the nano if you go up a size you've got the mini and then you go up a size, you got the regular or the small. And then a size above that is the large, what they now call the large. So this bag comes in a lot of different sizes, um, quite a few different colors. And this is just classic Dooney and Burke. So for that reason, this is definitely, to me, in my opinion, one of the best handbags that you can purchase for the money. Um, this bag, I think the most you will spend on a Florentine satchel brand new is going to be about $600. If I'm not mistaken, these particular bags range in price anywhere from $398 uh, to $598, just depending. So again, for the money, you really can't beat that. The second bag that I think is really, really excellent quality for the money is going to be the Coach Bandit. This bag makes a list for a few reasons as well. And let me refer back to my notes, y'all, because I my memory is just not what it used to be. So uh, this Bandit, um, first of all, let's just get into the fact that this is leather inside and out. So this bag is completely lined in leather as well. The inside of this bag, and I love the color combination. So this denim actually has like, I don't know what Coach calls this, but it's almost like a peanut butter color. Just gorgeous, gorgeous color leather on the inside. Like even the inside of this pocket is leather lined. Like everything in this bag is leather. The lining in all of the pockets are leather. Like everything on this bag is leather. 
So that's the first thing that makes this bag just a great, great value for the money. The other thing is this is another bag that's extremely well constructed. Like I took my time examining this bag because of what I paid for it when I got it. And the stitching is impeccable. There wasn't, there's not a scratch or flaw on this bag. Um, it, it's just a gorgeous bag. And then it's versatile. So this particular chain is one that I purchased from Amazon to kind of dress the bag up. But the strap that it actually comes with is a long leather shoulder strap that can be worn long like a long shoulder or short or a crossbody, or it can be doubled up and worn like a short shoulder bag. This bag really, to me, is like um, a less expensive version of the Coach Idol, and it's longer. Um, but one thing that the Idol and the Bandit both have in common to me is that they are very, very similar to the Hermes Constance. And we already know that bag costs thousands and thousands of dollars. This bag, I believe, is like five fifty retail. And I got it on sale, so I didn't pay that much. But this bag is beautiful. It's leather inside and out. It's very well constructed. It's versatile. It can be dressed up or down. And it is just a nice, it's just a gorgeous bag. So I believe for the money, the banded bag is excellent quality. And, you know, if you don't mind getting something pre-loved, you don't necessarily even have to get paid full price for the Coach Bandit. But this bag is on my list, again, because it's versatile, it's all leather, and it's stylish and understated. Bag number three is the Coach Rogue in any size. This is another one of Coach's classic silhouettes. I don't see this bag going anywhere anytime soon. I've had this bag probably about five or six years at this point, and it has held up wonderfully. The leather has gotten softer over time, and it's starting to slouch a little bit, but I don't mind that. I think it actually just gives the bag more character, but this is another bag that is extremely well constructed. Now, it's not leather inside and out, but it does have some mixed materials, so the outside of this bag is pebble leather. The inside is suede. So on the inside, like the outside pockets on the inside of this bag are suede. But the inside pocket on the inside of this bag is like a um, fabric linen or like gingham type material. But the hardware on this bag is the gunmetal or pewter, very substantial. And this is one of the older rogues. So this one does not come with the thicker crossbody strap. It only comes with the two shoulder straps. But guys, this bag right here really is a work of art in my opinion. It is just so easy to carry, so versatile. It also comes in a lot of different colors sizes, materials. So you can pretty much customize the Rogue if you wanted to, but for the money, I, now I got this on sale. I think I paid less than $300 for this. Um, I got this, it was at the boutique, but they were about to send them to the outlet. So they were, they were about to put these on the reserve. So I think when I got this, I paid like $2.97 for it. Um, but again, brand new, you can get a Rogue I, from anywhere from like maybe $6.95 to $11. i have seen Rogues go up to four dollars or $5,000 just depending on the materials. But most people stay within, I would say like maybe within the six to $1,100 range. Um, there's no way you're going to find anything comparable at Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel, YSL, or any other place for a price close uh, to what Coach is offering for the, all of this leather and suede. So this, again, to me, in my opinion, is excellent quality for the price.
So the next handbag that I think is an excellent value for the money, and it's not really a handbag, it's more a brand and material. And I'm gonna say any of the vintage epi leather pieces from Louis Vuitton. These bags are an excellent, excellent quality and value for the money. Number one, epi leather, especially the vintage epi leather, is extremely durable and hard wearing. Um, and it's reasonable. It's, it's actually cheap in comparison to the prices for epi leather today. And the other thing that will put you at an advantage is that you'll be able to find styles that are no longer available right now. So definitely, if you want to get something great quality at a contemporary price and you're looking in the luxury market, I would recommend going with vintage epi leather from Louis Vuitton. That's probably going to be one of your safest bets. But in that same vein, if you don't want the epi leather, the vintage canvas from Louis Vuitton is also always um, a great, great, great quality for and value for the money. The monogram, and, and I would say that for the Gucci or the Louis Vuitton. But since I have um, this in my hand, we're going to just go with the Louis Vuitton. Again, just like the Epi Leather, the vintage Louis Vuitton canvas pieces are going to be extremely reasonable in comparison to the prices that are offered right now in retail. You're also, just like the Epi Leather, going to be able to get styles that are no longer available, brand new. So you'll be able to get something that you don't see everybody else having, which, you know, is a big deal to some people. And I will argue to say that the canvas pieces from Louis Vuitton or the canvas material from Louis Vuitton Vintage is better quality than the canvas that they're pumping out today. I think it's thicker and more durable and hard-wearing. I feel the same way about the hardware on Louis Vuitton handbags, but that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, I say all of this to say that you can even get luxury pieces and contemporary prices if you're willing to go pre-loved. And if you go the pre-loved market, the vintage epi leather and the vintage monogram canvas pieces are great quality for the money. So that's it guys. Those are five of the bags that I think are excellent quality for the money. What do you think or any of these bags in your collection? Comment down below. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be updated whenever I upload a new video. And until the next time we see each other, take care of yourselves. Bye.